Welcome, Age of Vintage Society. Robert Wagner is an actor who began his movie career in the 1950s and later found success on television. He was married to actress Natalie Wood, whose 1981 death remains under investigation. How Robert Wagner anchored himself in the history of old Hollywood. Make sure to watch the video until the end and leave your thoughts in the comments. If you are new here, join our wonderful community by subscribing to the Age of Vintage channel. Robert John Wagner Jr. is an accomplished and versatile American actor with a rich body of work and a career spanning more than six decades. This veteran actor is best known for his starring roles in the TV series Switch, Heart to Heart and It Takes a Thief. His most noteworthy role has been that of number two in the American spy action comedy film series Austin Powers. Robert Wagner was born Robert John Wagner Jr. on February 10, 1930. His mother Hazel Alvera worked as a telephone operator. On the other hand, his father Robert John Wagner Sr. was an employee at the Ford Motor Company. Wagner's sister was called Mary. His father was a successful steel executive who was called Bob. To distinguish the two, Wagner became RJ, a nickname that has lasted all his life. He went for his early education at Santa Monica High School. In 1937, Wagner and his family relocated to Bel Air, California. They lived near the Bel Air Country Club and Wagner went on to caddy for well-known club members like Fred Astaire and Alan Ladd. Wagner, who had worked in movies as an extra, was given the opportunity to try for fame himself when he signed a contract with 20th Century Fox Studios as a teenager. I started off as an ingenue, recalled Wagner. I was 19 years old. I was the boy next door. But you always felt that you could work your way up, that you could have a better part in the next picture. Head of Fox, Daryl Zanuck, was always placing me in different positions. Wagner's first film for Fox was Halls of Montezuma, a World War II film. Wagner had a supporting role with Richard Widmark as the star. The studio then had him perform a similar function in another war movie, The Frogman, again with Widmark. The cast also included another young male under contract to the studio, Jeffrey Hunter, with whom Wagner would often work. Let's Make It Legal was a comedy where Wagner again supported an older star in this case, Claudette Colbert. Wagner first gained significant attention with a small but showy part as a shell-shocked soldier in With a Song in My Heart, starring Susan Hayward as Jane Froman. You were part of 20th Century Fox, he said. You felt proud of being part of the organisation. When I wasn't working, I was on the road, going out and selling movies or dancing on the stage and meeting the public. They never let you rest. Wagner was borrowed by Paramount for The Mountain, directed by Dimitrik, where Wagner was cast as Spencer Tracy's brother, having played his son just two years earlier in the same director's Broken Lance. When I started at Fox in 1950, they were making 65 pictures a year. Now they're lucky if they make 30. There was a chance to get some training in B pictures, then TV struck. Everything went big and they started sticking me into Cinemascope spectacles. One day, smiling Joe Juvenile with no talent was doing a role intended for John Wayne. That was in a dog called Stopover Tokyo. I've really had to work to keep up. Robert Wagner made his first film appearance in The Happy Years, 1950. Two years later, he featured in With a Song in My Heart. After this, he went on to star alongside other renowned celebrities in the film industry, such as Clifton Webb. Some of the notable films that he was cast in include Stars and Stripes Forever, Titanic, Prince Valiant and several others. In the 1960s, Wagner continued to act in films such as The Pink Panther and Harper, but it took a lead role in television's It Takes a Thief to bring his career to the next level. The show also gave him a chance to work with Astaire, who Wagner knew from his caddying days. From 1975 to 1978, Wagner starred in the detective agency series Switch with Eddie Albert, Charles Callas and Sharon Gless. 
Then in 1979, Wagner joined Stephanie Powers to star as a debonair crime-solving couple in Heart to Heart. The popular show, which aired until 1984, offered Wagner even greater career success. Then he fell in love. The twice-married actors met when Natalie Wood was just a child star and endured a roller coaster romance until her mysterious death. It was a love match anchored in the history of old Hollywood. A child star turned teen idol. Natalie Wood had grown up on film screens in front of millions of Americans, and at age 18 had made the transition to serious adult actress. Robert Wagner, a 26-year-old square-jawed aspiring contract player at 20th Century Fox, had looks, charisma and his sights on big screen stardom. The studio initially set up Wood and Wagner to garner publicity. Wood, who had first appeared on screen shortly before her fifth birthday in Happy Land, first encountered Wagner a few years after her debut. I was 10 and he was 18 when I first saw him walking down the hall at 20th Century Fox, Wood recalled. I turned to my mother and said, I'm going to marry him. Wagner had dreamed from a young age of life as a working actor and had become a handsome fixture around Hollywood by the mid-1950s. Though he would appear in more than 40 films, big screen stardom would elude him as the studio system was dismantled and the entertainment industry began embracing the burgeoning television market. The studio system played a hand in their first date, an arranged meeting in 1956 set up to garner publicity for the admired actress and the on-the-cusp supporting player. The attraction was real and they were married a year later, after Wagner proposed by placing a pearl and diamond ring in Wood's champagne glass. The couple spent much of their honeymoon on a yacht, navigating the Florida Keys. Being on the water was a passion they both shared, though Wood often spoke of her fear of deep water. The pair divorced after four years of marriage, potentially due to infidelity. Wildly in love, the newlyweds began their life together under the constant glare of publicity, something Wood had been dealing with since her years as a child star. We drove a Corvette across the country, Wood recalled of the time. Radio stations would announce we had just passed through and people would wait for us in every little town. Off screen, his marriage to Wood was on shaky ground. We knew each other better than we knew ourselves. But the couple separated in 1961 and divorced the following year with Wood remaining silent on rumours the marriage had ended suddenly because she had had an affair with her splendour in the Grass co-star Warren Beatty. Another story regarding the reason behind the breakup involves Wood finding Wagner in flagrante with another man, according to Wood's younger sister Lana. Wagner soon found love again, marrying Marion Marshall in July 1963. They had a daughter, Catherine, the following year, but divorced in 1971. Wagner and Wood remarried other people and then each other. Following the split, Wood plunged into therapy, often attending sessions five times a week. Both parties began dating again and would go on to marry other people, but they never stopped loving each other. When his second marriage came to an end again, this brought back his former lover into the picture and he wedded Wood for the second time in 1972. They welcomed their daughter named Courtney two years later. Wagner remarried Wood within three months of her second divorce. Friends told me to put on the brakes, Wood recalled of her decision to reunite with her ex-husband after she accepted an invitation to his house in Palm Springs. We were both in shock. We talked about what had happened to our marriages. He had become a man instead of a boy. Wood believed that the time apart during the intervening years was essential to their reconnection. They chose the 1972 Academy Awards ceremony as their first public outing as a newly reformed couple. For three years he was a major cast in the TV series called Switch. He acted in the show from 1975 to 1978 the TV shows brought Wagner to the limelight in his acting career. In contrast to the first time they said, I do, Wagner's career was the one ascending, 
but on the small screen. Premiering in 1968, ABC's It Takes a Thief was a hit, and Wagner was commanding about $10,000 per episode. The role of a debonair ex-con would pave the way to his biggest success. Wood had settled into semi-retirement by the time she remarried Wagner. Wagner and Wood's only child together, Courtney, was born in 1974, along with their two previous children from earlier marriages. They formed a Hollywood family unit, admired by fans new and old. Their happy reunion would last only nine years. Wagner, Wood and her then co-star, Christopher Walken, took a trip on the couple's boat, Splendor, to Catalina Island during Thanksgiving weekend 1981. After a day of drinking, tempers reportedly flared in the evening, with Wagner breaking a bottle, supposedly over Wood's apparent closeness to Walken. The couple allegedly argued before Wood returned to her cabin. Their romance and subsequent marriages kept fans enthralled over the course of two decades, but it would be Wood's 1981 death by drowning and its surrounding circumstances, an apparent late-night fall over the side of the family yacht, that would eclipse any professional or romantic legacy the couple could ever have envisaged. Later that night, Wagner could not locate his wife on the Splendour. Wood's body was not discovered until the following morning, floating in the water off Catalina near a dinghy belonging to their boat. Ruled an accidental drowning, experts theorised Wood fell into the water while trying to secure the dinghy. I lived a charmed life, and then I lost a beautiful woman I loved with all my heart, Wagner said of her death. I don't know what happened, Walken said of the incident. She slipped and fell in the water. I was in bed then. It was a terrible thing. After an autopsy was carried out on her body, it was noted that she had died as a result of overconsumption of alcohol. Robert Wagner was left to take care of his two daughters and Natasha Gregson Wagner. Natasha was the daughter of Wood's former husband, Richard Gregson. Wagner eventually found love again with actress Jill St. John, whom he married in 1990, but Wood's death continues to make news almost four decades after her shocking drowning. In 2018, LA County investigators named Wagner as a person of interest they were seeking to speak with in connection of the ongoing investigation. Regardless of the unfortunate events that followed Robert Wagner, he continued acting. On TV, he played notable roles in television shows such as Boston Legal, Hustle, Two and a Half Men, NCIS and Hot in Cleveland. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new here, and if you want to support my work, please visit my Patreon page. Now it is your turn. What do you think about the life and legacy of Robert Wagner?